Okay, sixth grade lesson 109, and this one is on corresponding parts and then also similar triangles. Okay, we kind of learned about corresponding um, angles yesterday, but we were mainly talking about congruent and similar. Do you remember me telling you about that, congruent triangles? Yeah. So this would be an example, I'm going to do my best, of a congruent, of a congruent set of triangles. They look exactly the same th same way, and they actually have the same exact measurements. Okay? Okay? Now, sometimes you can even have a s smaller, okay, but it still be similar. They're not congruent. Congruent means exactly the same. Similar means they look the same, but one's smaller and one's bigger. Okay? Now, this would be the same as this measurement. This would be the same as this measurement if they're similar triangles, and this would be the same as this measurement if they are similar, okay? Now, let's talk about one more thing. If you were to see this, and I'm gonna label it Z, Y, X, X, Y, Z, and then over here, I don't know if you can see, a, B, and C. Can you see that this is exactly the same if I rotated it and, and flipped, flipped it? it? Yeah. Okay. So, if you were to say see that, then what does C correspond with on Two. this one? Well, that's a Z. Oh, Z. Uh-huh. So, C cor corresponds with Z. Exact same measurement. You're exactly right. Okay. What about angle A? What does it correspond with? X. X. Very good. Okay. And angle B corresponds with Y. Very good. So this measure is the same thing as this measure. This measure is the same thing as this measure. And this measure is the same thing as this measure. Got it? Good job. Okay. And so those are called correspond. All right, so how I would label this, Eli, is this. Angle A corresponds with angle X. And that's how I'd write my answer. Okay? Now, let's talk about sides. Okay, we worked with angles. Now let's do sides. What is the same as X, Z? What angle or what um, side corresponds with XZ? Uh, AC. Very good. So I would say XZ corresponds with AC. Very good. All right, what about XY? XY corresponds with AB. Very good. AB. And I would put a line over top of it to show line XY corresponds with line AB. Good job. You feel like you understand that? Yeah. Okay, and then the last one would be ZY. Line ZY corresponds with BC. BC. Now, line BC, make sure you're putting the line on top. Now, I could say CB or YZ or ZY or BC. Those are, I can say it's CB or BC. They mean the same thing. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. I could say. Um, AC or CA to describe this line. So it's okay if you turn the letters around. But you can't be saying CB and say CA. <laughs> right? Because that'd be weird. Okay. So I'm just kind of going over those quick rules. Okay? Now. Alright. So if you were to see this triangle and it says this side is 4 inches, this side is 5 inches, and then over here on this triangle, let me draw my 90 degree angle. They tell me that this one is four inches and this one is three inches. Now here's what they say to me. These triangles are congruent, which means what? They are the same. Exactly the same. Exactly. Okay? These triangles are congruent. What is the perimeter? of each triangle. Can you figure it out? Um, yes. 
Okay, first of all, what does perimeter mean? The area around the, distance, the sides. Distance around the sides. Very good. Area is on the inside. But yeah, I knew but what you meant. You meant the area, the amount. Okay, but actually the correct word to say there is distance. So the distance around a shape is the perimeter. Okay, so can you figure out what this one is? Yes, I think so. How? By um, looking at the other congruent one. Yeah. So we could, I guess we could, no, never mind. Um, you would, I think it's three inches. It is three. Because, look, this is my bottom base right here. Uh -huh. This is my side here, four and four. This is my long diagonal piece here, five inches. This is my long diagonal piece here, five inches. Do you get that? Yep. Okay. So the total for each of these would be 12 inches in perimeter. Okay? Yep. Got it? Okay. Now, let's talk about similar. I'm going to draw four pictures up here. One, two, three, four. Okay? Which ones are congruent? One and two. Which ones are similar? One, two, and three. Uh-huh. Which one is completely different? Four. That one's pretty easy. Okay. Now, last thing we're going to do. Ready? Okay. 60 degrees. 30 degrees. A, B, C. 90 degrees. Okay. Here's what they say to me. These tr two triangles are similar. What is the measure of angle A? 30 degrees. Very good. How did you figure that out? Because if you flip it and rotate. Very good. You flipped it and then... Rotate um, or it. rotate it and then flip it. You can easily see that both are the top. Yes, very good. So this one would be 30 degrees. It's the same as that. What would if I said, what is angle B's measurement? 60 degrees. Very good. Okay, so that's exactly right. Good job. And then angle C, as you can see, is um, 90. That is lesson 109.